Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another video. And on today's video, we're going to be doing the repair on the VW Caddy van. We've got the injector and we're going to be getting that done. The mechanics are here now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record that for you guys so you can basically see how to change an injector, just in case you want to do it yourself. So let's get on with it. It's a Continental, genuine, repaired, Continental diesel injector. Basically refurbished, remanufactured, whatever you want to call it. Well, it looks brand new, doesn't it? Yeah. So, let's get that in. So we took the fuel pipe off there. And we've got to take leak off pipes off as well. There's other ones. So basically that's your fuel return line. So that's the excess fuel returns there goes back to, obviously back to where it is. Back so that's the, the leak off pipe, is it? Yeah, so I'll we'll take that off, yeah? Fuel. So yeah, okay. excess fuel out. It's pretty rusted in there a bit. You get some pliers. Yeah, but it's got a lot of crap in it. It's not wanting to wiggle. It's a bit rusty, is it? It's not only wiggle on giving them a movement, but this one's not having much look on this one. Oh no, it's coming. Come on. Yes. Hey. Look. Just another seal. Seal is not looking the best. Is that? Oh, it's broken in there. Oh no. It's going to need a leak off pipe. So it's not going well already because the leak off pipe is just broke. It's snapped inside the injector. So we've got to get one of them now. So that's going to slow the job down. Which is annoying on these ones because they clamp two down, so you've got to replace two copper washers and so close to So we're taking out the uh, clamp up now. So we can get it wiggled and moving. Let's hope this injector comes out. So we've got the bolt out, and that's a stretch bolt, so that needs to be replaced each time. This one we can be a little bit rougher with. That number one it seems to be okay, but see if it's That's the knackered one. Yeah. I'm worried about this. And this clamp holds both injectors in, so we've got to take both injectors out. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Oh, okay. We've got to lift them both at the same time, but it's starting to move. Well, that's good news at least. It's actually moving, even though the leak off pipe just broke. Yes. But the more important thing is that the injector comes out. Put the fuel pipe back on. You can't even a bit of an upwards pressure, seems like a handle. It's got a little bit of help to get it up. Oh, yeah. Like a little handle to pull the injector out. Yeah, that's it. And give it a bit of leverage on the clamp. So put the pipe back on. Yeah. Just so you can give it a bit of upwards pressure yeah. without trying to damage the thread. Just need to get it moving a bit more. Yeah, they're now so they're, they're loose now, aren't they? Yeah, you can lift them out now if you want. They can they come out? Yeah, they are lift up. Oh, bonus. You just got to be careful with this number one. Obviously, it's still good. You don't want to be yeah. dropping them or banging well, them. That's good. Like that. There you we are. There, in, in the hole there, you can see the end of the tip of the leak off pipe. If you just want mm. get a bit better lighting in there, just all the build up of rust and stuff in there. Well, at least that's the only casualty. Right. So the fact that that came out nice and easy is probably a good indication that it's had injectors changed before because at 212,000 miles I wouldn't have thought an original injector would have came out that easy. So yeah maybe it has had the injector issue previously in its life. So we've got injector one out and the pipe broke in there as well so we're trying to get it out. I'm trying to pick that out somehow. I'm going to try a self tapping screw and see if that works. If anyone's got any better suggestions, let us know. Yeah, this is probably put it in the, the wrong comments. Doing it. But <laughs> let us know how you'd get a piece of broken pipe out of an injector that's still a good injector that you don't want to have to replace just because there's a broken bit of pipe in it. 300 pound an injector, you don't really want to be doing that. Is it coming out? Does it feel it's like starting it's starting to out? move a bit? I think. 
Let's just have the other say, ones. Though. Let's have the other ones are not the same. Mm, it looks like that bolt's newer on that other one, to be fair. Maybe them three and four have been out at some point. So been... That bolt there, yeah. yeah. So it looks a bit newer to the other one, there's less rust yeah. on it. But it could just be the position it's at. Well, that bolt. Got a bit of that spray again, Paul. Let's see. Got it? Yeah. That's what you're looking for. So the soft top and screw worked. So cool. I normally get them out. So if anyone says it's the wrong way, maybe it's not the wrong way. Yeah, so might a be a good tip. tip. A little tip for you guys. That's how I normally get them out when they do. Well, it's time to get the new injector in. So obviously when you get these new injectors, do remember to take a photograph of your injector code, which is this bottom one here. So obviously you'll need someone with a diagnostic to be able to code this in if you don't have it yourself. Um, but obviously it saves you trying to squint looking for it after the fact. If you take it while well, picture it, it's while it's out and then yeah. you can then get it coded. Oh, before you in. put it in. Correct. Yeah. Well, let's get these injectors in. And obviously they do have a torque setting on the stretch bolts, so don't forget about that. Don't forget to take your caps off as well before you uh, put them in. Yeah. So a new stretch bolt. So on these as well, always remember to replace these. If you see on this, you probably find it hard to see on video. One is that slight bit longer than the other because it's a stretch bolt. It's only ever so slightly. And if you don't yeah, replace you these every time, it. you can so see it's slightly longer. The old one. Only ever so slightly, but these need replacing every single time you do an injection. Do not replace that. To break and then your injectors will lift up and cause damage that you do not want to have, and you'll be replacing fuel pipes and everything. Then, so torque stage obviously, there you've got injector there, obviously, it gives you a stage one, eight newton meters, stage two, 270 degrees. But obviously, as you can see, it's gonna be quite tight to get 270 degrees, they so just do 90, mm. 90, 90. So, they are quite under quite a bit of torque. So now we're going to torque the bolt down, 8 newton meters. So we've got the clip, which you probably couldn't hear on camera, and then we'll go 90, 90, 90, and it will feel quite tight in this last one, 90, and there's your inject torque. So, the new injectors in, well the pair are back in, all clamped in, we just got to get that um, fuel pipe now, it's broken. So we've just had a, a quote for that, and that was a hundred and, what was it, hundred and twenty-five pound was it? Genuine. Hundred and fifteen pound plus the VAT for a stupid bit of pipe, which is extortionate. So, we're just trying to find if I can get a cheaper one somewhere else, but it's not looking good at the minute. So, yeah, that's about as far as we've got at the moment. That's all bolted in anyway now. Just got to get this pipe sorted. I've just got to get a new one of those. So, yeah. Hopefully it won't be too long. Some people may or may not have a scan like this, but as I took a photograph earlier, the injector makes it easier for typing in our CR code. Uh -huh. As you see, there's a zero at the end of it, which obviously there's not on this with the VWs because they're obviously they're um, seven digit codes. You normally only get seven digits on the injector. Just add a zero at the end and that will be your injector code. And obviously changing it from the old ID to the new ID, you see that's got a zero on the end there as well. It's just how VW yeah. do it. So that's what you'll normally get. Program ID, so program new ID. Successful. So that's, that's coded now, that new so that's injector. that's now coded. So you see now the code has changed now. Oh yeah. Look, these have got A numbers, it's now got C numbers. Yeah, okay, great, brilliant. Yeah, so, so that's good, that's done. That's all done for you. Cool. So obviously, go into the code, clear, you can clear the codes down now for the injector. And you'll go in, well, once it's done, and you can go into codes, there should be no codes available now. So, no codes. Obviously, you can't start the van at the minute because we need to get the leak off pipes for it. And then so, as soon as we get the pipe, it should be done, shouldn't yeah, it? That right. should be it. Right, nice one. Well, 
well, good news. I managed to get uh, a leak off pipe off um, eBay and it was £70. So just over half the price of one from the dealership and it was a genuine part. So um, I think it was, it would have been like new old stock, I guess. Um, but I didn't want to get like a copied part because I, I don't like buying copied parts and I checked some reviews on some copied parts and they weren't good so I didn't really want to risk it. So genuine part it is. And that's all fitted and now the van is running. So yes, we're back. We're back up and running. So as you can see, we're now running with no faults on the dash. Just got the fuel light on. So I need to go and get some fuel. I just want to say thank you for watching the video and I hope that you found some value in it and that it was able to help you to do your own injector on your own caddy van. If you did, give me a thumbs up because I'd really appreciate that. And now that my van's fixed, I look forward to being able to get the van build actually done and get out and have some adventures in it. So once again, thanks for watching. Bye.